Good morning. It's, uh, I don't know, May 23rd. And uh, so we've been out since May the 8th. You can see uh, Pixie up here in the corner. Uh, and there's our target, Honolulu, down there. And you can see we've only got, uh, hang on, there. We've only got uh, 618 miles to go to Honolulu at a course of 220 magnetic. And there we're doing 230 magnetic at, uh, there's our position, 28 north and uh, 148 south. Uh, five knots, where are we at here? Yeah, yeah, five and a half knots, ocean 23. And there's the numbers and here's, uh, here's the view from the, uh, from the command tower. Yeah. Frida's daughter. I'm gonna go out there to my hell happy place so you can see jiggly jiggly jiggly. I'll try not to fall in. Oh, there's the new holder. But I'm gonna go out to uh, out to the uh, sunny side and uh, and show you what it's like. I'm just stepping out of the companionway into the cockpit. Grab the rail. Thank you, Brent. Grab the rail, leaning on the other one. Uh, squat right down low, holding on to these bronze lifeline. Pin rail, shrouds. There's the uh, trisel put to bed. And uh, pulled out roller furling jet with a single furl in it just so that it matches the end of the pole. It's sitting out front. And you can see, so we're running, running downwind on a very broad port tack. Hawaii is down that way somewhere, 600 miles. Whew! 11.30 in the morning. Uh, I was working from about 3 to 6. That's when it goes really soft, between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. It's on like less than 6 knots with left over lumpy sea. And that's uh, so she can't handle it, gotta keep rescuing her. And then eventually just hold her, you know, like sit on it and uh, whatever. Fiddle around, fiddle around, as Poppy would say. And make it until the breeze fills in, frankly. But for you to give up, I was always going to heave to, I was always going to heave to. But about four o'clock just to take a rest and then straight up to 20 knots uh, with a squall coming through and we were underway again held it and uh, laid down about about uh six after we've been up to three had to turn around my god we stopped 9 a.m 9 a.m and i'd slept from six to, to nine uh and it was so quiet i thought i don't know where we were so i'm um, that's looking due that's south uh 240 magnetic so that's southwest looking southwest right where we want to go and uh oh yeah and the staysail's furled the uh i'm leaning up against the mast with the with the trisel get up there and then on the other side we'll see there's a main on the thing so it's panning around haven't seen anything or anybody for four days four or five days i don't know what and uh and uh oh yeah and i put one c to bed you can see one c sitting behind there and uh and uh, solar panels, all 425 watts, holds us just fine. Never seen less than 95%. Mind you, I chin out when I'm on deck, except for right now, I'll turn everything off. And uh, I'll go hours with nothing happening. The battery's turned off in the daily because I'm not using it anyway. What the heck, huh? So saving the Watton Sea from a catastrophe. It, uh, so why have it 100% when we're... And then leave the instruments all on 100% and never look at them. So, I never look at them unless I go to look at them. So then I turn them on and look at them, write the numbers down maybe, and then shut them all back to bed and, and go by the magnetic compass and uh, free to control. And that uh, seems to be working. Oh, God. So 660 to go. That means we got about 1,500 to change. Whew. And uh, today is week through the third of the second day of the third week. So we'll be in 20, 21 days, I imagine. And uh, pretty good. Pretty good. We did 21 days coming home in Terwinda. That was that was bloody lucky. I split in two. And the last uh, big Maui was a drifter and the Super Light X X Yacht 43 did in 18 days. So we're gonna do it in not 20 days maybe. Me. Yeah. I, yeah. So we got lucky. It's all about the weather. So they were all tidied up. We got the uh, we got the. Four guy, the after guy, a top and lift, uh, the sheet running through the jaws, and uh, lazy sheet there, and uh, that's all we got. I got nothing. It's just kind of, kind of interesting being completely separated uh, from everybody, and good for me, not so good for Poppy. I wonder if Poppy is 
updated the blog and said, everybody, uh, predict wind is poo poo, so there's no track for Pixie on predict wind. Uh, so you can follow YB Tracker for about five, six, eight days, and then YB Tracker goes black. So now there's nowhere to follow Poppy, she's not followable, so she's either making her way to Hawaii or she's. Uh, She's at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> it must have been a catastrophe in the middle of the night to uh, for scuppers not to be able to turn on the uh, EPIRT before uh, everything went boo boo. But it wasn't that at all. It just stopped. I don't know why. It just stopped. We knew we wouldn't have it stopped. But yeah. Anyway, and uh, Frida's doing great. I I was at a low mojo and couldn't get Frida working at the beginning for the first three days. Uh, four days maybe and uh, um, couldn't get her going and then everything was failing and it was a, not a good time but so the electronics things just failed 